It all started beneath a canopy of stars the night Wyan's world collided with the Hughes in a way that neither of them could have ever expected. She was the girl who had everything, luxury, power, wealth. Her family name held weight in the city, but Wyan was never interested in the shallow parties, the meaningless extravagance. She wanted something real. And then there was Tehu, a boy from the streets. He had grown up poor. Scraping by, but with a fire in his heart, his dreams were as big as the sky he slept under some nights. Music was his only escape, the one place where he could feel truly alive, even when the world refused to see him. He had a voice that could make the stars weep, and it was that voice why and heard the night they met. It was a cold evening in the city, the type where the chill in the air had a way of creeping into your bones. Wan had slipped out of a suffocating gala, the laughter of the rich and privileged clinging to her like perfume. and wander through the winding streets. That's when she saw him under a flickering street light. A guitar in his hand and a hat on the ground with a few spare coins tossed into it. He was singing, his voice raw, deep and full of emotions, like the streets themselves have crafted it from years of hardship. The moment she heard him, something shifted inside her, like the world finally snapped into focus. Tehung didn't notice her at first, not until she dropped a hundred into his hat. You've got something. She said softly, her voice a gentle contrast to the hard world around them. He looked up, surprise flickering in his eyes. That's a lot for a street singer.
She shrugged, leaning against the lamppost. Maybe I just appreciate talent. From that night, they were inseparable, despite coming from two completely different worlds. They connected in a way that defied logic. Vyan was drawn to Taehyung's passion, his dreams. His relentless fight to make something of himself and he, well, he couldn't believe a girl like her was even speaking to him. She wasn't like the other rich girls. Wyan was kind, genuine. She saw him, really saw him, beyond the poverty and the struggle. Weeks turned into months, months into years, and Wyan found herself spending more and more time with Tehyo. Her family didn't approve, of course. They couldn't fathom why their daughter was wasting her time with some boy who had nothing. Who would never be able to provide her in the way they believed she deserved, but Wyan didn't care. She was willing to give up everything for him. She wanted real love, not something bought with diamonds and fancy vacations. Together they struggled through his hardships when Taehyung's landlord threatened to evict him for unpaid rent. Van was there offering him a place to stay when he couldn't afford to replace his broken guitar. She surprised him with a new one knowing it was the only thing that kept his dreams alive. And when he doubted himself, when the weight of his dream seemed too heavy to carry, she was there whispering words of encouragement. I believe in you, she'd say, cupping his face in her hands. You're going to make it, they. I know you will. He'd look at her, a mix of wonder and disbelief in his eyes. Why are you doing this? Why are you sticking with me?
Then came the day everything changed. Taehyung's big break came almost out of nowhere. A music producer had heard him performing at a small bar. And just like that, his world began to shift. Suddenly, doors that had been closed his entire life swung open. He was offered a recording contract, gigs in major cities and opportunities that he had only dreamed of. Wine was there, beaming with pride as she watched the man she loved start to climb towards success. Every night she'd sit in the front row of his performances, her eyes shining with admiration. talked about their future, about the life they would build once they had made it big. But success came with a price. At first, it was subtle. Taehyung started spending more time with his new team. His manager, producers and PR people, Wyan understood he was busy and she knew how important this was for him. But then the calls started coming less frequently. The late night conversations that had once been their lifeline grew shorter, more rushed. Tay, do you want to grab dinner tomorrow? She asked one night after one of his shows, her voice hopeful. Can't why and I've got meetings all day. Maybe next week. His tone was distant, his attention already elsewhere. Weeks passed and the distance between them grew. Why and tried to ignore the sinking feeling in her chest. Tried to be supportive, reminding herself that this was all for his dream, for their future. But then there were parties, the industry events where Tehum was surrounded by models and celebrities. Where Vine felt like an outsider in her own relationship, she'd see pictures of him on social media.
Some models arm draped around his, laughing as if the world they had built together no longer existed. He definitely looked awkward, but not to Wyan. Because she was blinded by insecurities and doubts. One night after weeks of feeling like she was losing him, Wyan finally confronted Taehyung. But maybe it was bad timing. Taehyung just had an argument about the upcoming project with his manager and now Wyan. Feel like I'm not a part of your life anymore," she said, her voice breaking as she stood in his apartment. The apartment, the one they had shared for months, you're slipping away. You're not the same. He sighed, running a hand through his hair. Why, and things are different now. I have to focus on my career. I've worked too hard to let it slip away. I'm not asking you to give up your career, she exclaimed, tears brimming in her eyes. I just want to feel like I still matter to you, like we still matter. The young looked at her, but there was something cold in his eyes, something that hadn't been there before. Maybe, maybe you don't understand what it's like. You've always had everything handed to you, Wyan. You've never had to fight for this. The words hit her like a punch to the gut. She couldn't believe what she was hearing. You think this is easy for me? You think I don't understand sacrifice? I've been with you through everything. I gave up everything for you. I didn't ask you to, he shot back, his voice harsh and unforgiving. The silence that followed was deafening. Wan stood there, her heart shattering as she realized the truth. The him wasn't the same man she had fallen in love with. Success had changed him. And no matter how hard she tried to hold on, he was slipping further and further away.
I'm done, she whispered, her voice trembling. I can't keep fighting for someone who doesn't want me anymore. The him girl then looked away in frustration but didn't stop her as she turned and walked out of the apartment. The door closing behind her with a finality that echoed in her chest. He sighed, sitting on the sofa as a groan left his mouth while he held his head in his hands. Two days passed and Vyan didn't hear anything from him. She threw herself into her work into rebuilding the life she had put on hold for Tehim. But every time she saw his face on a magazine cover or heard his voice on the radio, her heart ached with the memories and fact that he didn't even reach out to her to sort things. Indeed, Tehing's career soared. He became everything he dreamed of, famous, successful, admired by millions. But in the quiet moments when the cameras were off and the crowds had dispersed, he felt the emptiness creeping in. The third night, as he sat in his lavish apartment, surrounded by tappings of fame and fortune, he picked up his phone and scrolled through his old messages with Vyan. The ones where they had talked about their dreams, their future, where she had been his rock, his constant in a world full of uncertainty. He realized his day was incomplete without her messages and calls, without seeing her face. Success had given him everything he had ever wanted, but it had taken away the one thing that had mattered most. Outside, beneath the same stars where they had first met, while looked up at the night sky, a bittersweet smile on her lips. She had loved him through it all, and even though he was no longer hers, she knew that some part of her would always belong to him. She stood up and left, not knowing that half an hour later Tehyung came at the exact place in hope of seeing her there, but she was nowhere to be found. So this is it for part one of this story. There will be two parts. Um, so yeah, subscribe to not miss an update and like, share, comment, do all the rituals. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, this is it for today then. 
बाय बाय